Hello and welcome back uh, my YouTube family. Today we're going to do something a little bit different again. Wogdad's always full of different surprises as you know. And today what we're going to do guys, we're going to do something South African. Alright, and this is a spicy Durban curry. Uh, it's a cooking sauce and I found this at Aldi and it was on special for about $3.50. And um, I've got a different one as well which is in the cupboard so I'll do that another day. So I'm going to do this one with chicken today. All right, before we uh, start reading all this stuff, I'm gonna chuck the chicken in the pan. So what I've done, guys, I've purchased a uh, one kilo packet of uh, chicken thigh, boneless, from Aldi, and um, I've got about half a kilo there, so I'm gonna chuck them in the pan first and let them fry up. So I'll throw that in and let that cook up. So I made them into larger chunks, guys. This time, not too small. So we'll let the pan heat up and uh, cook that chicken a little bit. All right, so while that's happening, guys, then I'm gonna add the uh, onions. I didn't have any white onions, so I'm gonna use uh, red onions or purple onions. So I've chopped up about two medium size in there. And also, I've got some green peas. Now, you can add any vegetable you want to this. It doesn't have to be peas. It could be, I don't know, potatoes, it could be broccoli, carrots, whatever you like. In this case, I'm just cooking it this way because uh, I'm trying not to cook too much food because uh, I've got many more surprises to come up. And um, I went shopping yesterday, so I found a few different uh, types of things that are very interesting that I could create and do. So, all right, guys, so while the chicken's cooking, uh, oh, and I've also got rice cooking in the background, guys. Uh, in the rice cooker, I've got a basmati rice, so that's from Aldi again. And I must say, this rice is actually quite nice. Uh, I only had to rinse it once, uh, and yeah, it was pretty clean rice, and it's fragrant. So we'll talk about the rice while that's frying up. All right, so this is a, a one kilogram bag, and that's from Aldi as well, and it's called Imperial Grain Basmati Rice, fragrant and delicate. All right, no extra colors or flavors, and this was about three dollars, guys, for a one kilogram uh, packet of rice. Like I said, um, I only had to wash it once to get rid of the starch and it was done. All right, oh, and here we go, guys. It's a product from Pakistan for my Pakistani brothers out there. Love you guys, man. I swear to God, I've got so many Pakistani friends. All right, guys, uh, let's have a look. Ingredients, basmati rice, suitable for vegetarians or vegans. Imperial grain is registered trademark of Aldi stores. And percentage that intakes are based on average adult diet, 8,700 kilojoules. All right, it's a beautiful rice, guys, I'm telling you. And you can cook it on a stove top, you can microwave it or a rice cooker. So rice cooker, what I've done is I've put uh, one and a half cups of uh, rice. And I've put uh, one and a half cups of water to each cup of rice. So... In this case, uh, mine's cooking. I'll put it on ahead because my son likes rice and he's going to come from school in a couple of hours and I want him to be ready for him while I'm off. All right, so that's the rice, guys. I'll just give the chicken a bit of a stir. You want to brown that. That chicken smells so nice. I love the chicken at uh, Aldi because it's a little bit cheaper and it's RSPCA approved. I think Woolworths is somewhat cool. But I wanted to get this one while I was there as well. Might as well do the shopping in one go, eh? Instead of going to like 50 different places. I've had a request to do something, or well, not to do something, but I had a request, uh, well, not really a request. I don't know how to put it. Uh, I'm not going to say anything because I want to keep it a secret for myself. But I'm going to have something coming up that I'm going to review that uh, one of my subscribers uh, has taste tested. I won't mention the name or anything yet because otherwise someone's gonna jump in and go do it. So I'm gonna leave that for, my, for myself. It's uh, special to me. All right. Uh, all right guys, while the chicken's cooking, let's have a bit of rid of uh, this uh, something South African. So this has been around since 1990. There's a packet there, guys. All right. Now, this is about 6 out of 10 spice rating. So, it's going to be hot, I reckon. So, it's great with chicken, lamb, beef, or shrimp. Um, 
400 gram packet of sauce, and it, uh, it's about four portions. All right. All right. Best before November 2020. And look at the back, guys. It's got like a like a stamp there, like a feature thing. Oh, it must be of Durban. Uh, you wish you were here, Durban, South Africa. It's got elephant pictures and stuff. So, right. right. Let me give you another mix. I have my onion here. Oh, that smells so nice, that chicken. And by the way, guys, I didn't use any uh, olive oil this time. I've used uh, vegetable oil because that's what it says on the packet. And I'm not going to add anything to this, guys. I'm not going to add any garlic or or ginger or whatever I need to, coconut cream, because uh, I'll, the, the main thing is we're going to do a taste test and a review on the actual sauce. So let's see how we go. I'm going to add my onions now, guys, and let that cook through. Add all your onions. Nice and beautiful and colorful. And uh, I was going to say, guys, um, yeah, thank you to all the new subscribers as well, guys, and the lovely comments. I swear to God, if it wasn't without you guys, I wouldn't keep going. You guys motivate me. You guys inspire me to keep going and give me the strength to keep going. Everyone knows what that works very hard. Like, I work two, three jobs sometimes. And I try and separate some time from my channel because I love this channel and I love you guys and I love cooking. It's been a passion of mine for a long time. I used to be an executive chef. I'm not anymore. That was a long time ago. Uh, what I do here, guys, uh, just because there's a lot of new subscribers, I could do everything from scratch, but just to let you know, my kitchen's very small. I don't have the equipment. I don't have the editing uh, equipment as well at this stage. So what my whole uh, aim is to is to go and try new products, get them, cook at home, show you what uh, they are. Maybe if you can get hold of them, you can do them and try, taste them and um, do a trial as well, or maybe this will put some ideas in your mind where you can cook for your family. Um, so, yeah, that's what the whole thing of my show is, guys. And I'll do taste tests and reviews on things. I'll go out sometimes. I'll go to, like, restaurants and shops. I'll, you know, whatever I've got to do. And just something a little bit different all the time, you know what I mean? So it's not the same boring thing. And I love talking a lot, guys. So you will always see me talking a lot on my uh, recordings. Uh, I'm a people's person and um, I will talk because I love you guys and I love talking and God gave us a mouth to talk so I'm all dead so I'll talk. Alright, so while that's cooking guys I'm just getting another stir before I add the, uh, the, the sauce and everything. So we'll let those onions cook slowly. All right, let's add our peas, so our peas can cook through that too, and we're going to add our sauce and everything soon. So what I'll do now, guys, I'm going to add our salt. So judge your salt yourself. Well, Dad loves salt, so I'll always put extra salt on myself. All right, I'm going to give that another little bit of a stir. I'm going to put the lid on that, let that cook, and we'll read through the sauce, and then we'll add the sauce, and by that time, this should be all ready to go. Right, I'm going to put the lid on that, so let that cook up. Alright guys, uh, I had to wait to record because uh, as everyone, I don't know if everyone knows, I live in a resort uh, in the heart of Noosa. Uh, Noosa is a very busy touristic place, especially in summer. You cannot find anything around here, any accommodation. It is absolutely packed. It's very expensive, uh, but it's worth the visit guys because there's so much here we've got beaches we've got fishing we've got metal detecting we've got anything you want all right national parks a whole lot all right so what we'll do is we'll read about this sauce a little bit all right so this is imported by Audi stores in Minchinbury, new south wales and it's a product of south africa so that's for all my south african brothers and sisters out there and by the way guys 25th of may is uh, african day all right, so keep that in mind. Don't forget to celebrate African Day. If you're African and you live in Australia or America or anywhere around the world, I found that out this morning on the news. So I thought I'd mention that. All right, guys, so preparation instructions. Stovetop chicken, 400 to 500 grams. So we use 500 grams of your choice meat, 15 ml of vegetable oil, which I've done. Uh, cook until you're liking. Stir sauce, bring to boil, cover and reduce the low heat. Let the sauce simmer until meat is tender. 
combine the sauce, seafood, whatever you need to do, and simmer for 10 minutes until it is cooked through. You can microwave it, it says. Combine the sauce and your choice of cubed 500 meat in microwave, bowl co uh, cover the bowl, and cook for about 5 minutes in the microwave, which I'm not going to do because I reckon I should cook it on the stove, it's better. Alright, oh sorry, that's for beef or lamb or chicken. And then if you want to microwave seafood, you can combine the choice and microwave for three to five minutes in a high um, cooking thing. Alright, I'm just going to give it another stir, guys. And then I'm going to add the sauce and we'll continue reading. And by that time, this should be ready. And I'm going to check on my rice. Oh, that smells so good so far. I love it. I love cooking. I love my food. I love you guys. I love everyone. I love the world. All right. Sorry, I think the focus just nearly like changed there because I've got the swimming pool behind you guys there behind the camera and the palm trees are waving and the sun's hitting. So it just keeps like, we might lose focus. So I apologize for that. All right. So let's get the sauce happening. Oh, look at that sauce. It's like a, it looks like pumpkin soup. That's not pumpkin soup. I'm gonna pour that sauce in there and then we'll continue reading what's in the ingredients and by that time, I reckon that should be ready. And I might even pull that other one out, the other packet out. And, um, oh, that smells really nice. I'm loving it already. Yeah, baby, that smells good. All right, so let's put that aside. We get a little bit of a mix. I don't think I'm going to need, add, uh, need to add water to this, guys, because uh, it's got its own natural water, the chicken stock and juice and everything. Oh, that's really nice, that smell, that aroma. I'm loving it. That's really nice. I've never tried this before, and it's going to thicken up as I cook it. So I'm just going to do that like that. What I'll do is I'll show you guys a bit of a close-up first. And then I'll put the lid on, then we'll continue reading our sauce. So that's what it looks like so far, guys. Look at that. South African chicken curry. Never done any South African dishes before. So it's a first. All right, we'll let that cook. So while that cooks, guys, let's see. It's been 12 minutes so far. All right, so uh, spicy Durban curry ingredients. Water, tomatoes, 10% tomatoes, water, salt, acidity regulator, citric acid, uh, firming agent, modified maize starch, vegetable oil, sunflower seeds, antioxidants, onions, spice sugars, uh, produced in a facility where milk and egg, wheat and root, fish and soy are, uh, are present. And um, energy wise, it's 384 kilo, no, sorry, 94, 92 calories per serving. So this is four servings. A carbohydrate 7.4. Fat is 4.2, saturated 0 0.6, sodium 845. So once you open this sauce, guys, if you open it, you've got uh, three days uh, to use it after you refrigerate it. So that's the product there. If you go to Aldi and you can get hold of it, uh, get hold of it because I think this is like a limited edition thing uh, in Aldi. And if you're not um, close to an Aldi, guys, don't worry about it. Just go buy a jarred version and um, create this recipe because I reckon it's going to be tasty. I can smell it already. All right, I'll chuck that in the bin. Actually, I'll put it there. The rice is cooking. I'm just going to try and find this other one, guys. I have. Oh, this one is the other one I found. Um, and this is the other one I found. All right, that was uh, three three dollars fifty as well a packet. And this one's a Cape Malay curry. So cooking sauce, and um, next time I'm gonna do a cook up with this one, and we'll give this one a bit of a taste test and see how we go, because I've never cooked uh, African or South African food before. I've got a lot of African or South African friends, but uh, maybe I'll do this one with prawns. I don't know, I'm not sure. So here we go. All right, put that aside. I'm just gonna turn my back, guys, and check the rice while that's cooking. Oh, that rice has turned out absolutely amazing guys i've got to show you look at that rice that that brand that i showed you look at, look at that look at how it falls absolutely beautiful i'm just trying to get that but i get a reflection from the background but that is beautiful rice i'm telling you oh that's probably one of the best rices i have seen in a while guys a basmati rice 
So, as that brand again, just to remind everyone, it's Imperial Grain uh, Basmati Rice from Aldi. All right, I'll be back to buy this rice because that's actually one of the best um, grain rices that have turned out and I'm really happy with it. All right, let's check our curry. We have a bit of a taste test and we'll go from there. Oh, smell that. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn that off. So that's ready. All right, I'm gonna put some in our bowl and we'll have a bit of a taste test with our salt. Sorry, our sauce and our chicken and all that. And we'll go from there. Some peas. I'm actually very hungry, I haven't eaten yet. All right. There we go, guys. All right, so that's the sauce. Isn't that beautiful? Let's have a bit of a taste. Oh my god, that is so not, oh my god, the spice just kicked in. Whoa, that's got a good kick to it. Alright, I'm glad I made the rice. Let's try the chicken. Mmm. That chicken has absorbed that sauce. And it's absolutely beautiful. Mmm. The sauce is so nice. It's got a saltiness, a sweetness, and you can taste the herbs in the background. But after you swallow it, you can taste that chili kick in. All right, it's not overpowering. It's not a really scary chili. Six out of ten. Uh, my son's going to love this, and I'm going to love it. And it's going to go really nice with the rice, guys. All right, guys, I better go. And uh, thank you very much for everyone watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell all your friends to join. I love you guys. Let's go on this journey together. Support each other. I love you guys. Doesn't matter what. I'll take a photo of that, and I'll put it as a caption. Uh, the rice is cooking. The rice is absolutely amazing. And... Um, Keep in touch, guys. I might do another video for tonight. All right. I love you guys. Take care. You're the best. Stay safe. Bye.